going to be joined here on our NCAA March Madness Skype session by Texas A&M's DJ Hogue. And the Aggies off to a great start this season, certainly looking like potentially an SEC title contender, a team that really could go all the way to San Antonio nearby. We'll wait and see. So, DJ, first of all, what do you think is clicking so well with the Aggies right now? Uh, we're just playing good together, playing with the coaches and Coach Kenny's system. Uh, they did a great job preparing us this whole summer. We've been working hard, and we just enjoy playing with each other right now. So uh, we got to keep that up. We're great on and off the court teammates, so I think that's our biggest thing right now. Now, you guys, you started the season in Germany, knocking off West Virginia. Uh, you beat a USC team. You did play Arizona when Arizona started to play much better basketball. Um, when you look back at sort of the first six, seven weeks, where do you think this season where at least it told you, you know, we've got a team that could be something special? Uh, I, I saw it this summer, honestly, in open gym. We, had a, we played a lot open gym um, this summer, and just the competition level was, uh, was great. And um, in my head then, I was like, wow, we have a chance to be something. We just have to, like, hone in on the intangibles and playing sound defense. Because our depth is there. Like, open gym, if you lose a game, you had to sit off. And normally you don't have to sit off. If you lose, you can get back right on. But this year we had so many players, so much depth. You had to wait a whole game. So, And it just it made the competitive level, uh, level in our open gym a lot better, too, because nobody wanted to get off. So that's when I personally felt like we had a chance to be really good. As far as um, nationally-wise, when we beat West Virginia, I was expecting to win just because I was going to every game like that. But once we got that win, I, it, was like, um, it, was like, it was like it's here. It's, it's now like we really do have a chance to be something special. By the way, what impressed you about Arizona since you saw them when they were playing much better than they did down in the, the Bahamas? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't go into that game thinking lightly of them anyway. I just thought they started the season rough, but, I mean, they're really big. They got score with Alonzo Trier and DeAndre Aiden's is just a, um, a hand inside. You need a double team almost every time. Now, you guys started the year without uh, Robert Williams because he wasn't playing at that early juncture. J.J. Caldwell uh, wasn't playing then. Now that you guys are complete, what's the difference in this group? Like I said, just depth and chemistry with J.J. and Rob, especially like J.J. is a willing passer, like one of the most willing passers I know. And Rob is he's more of a, he's more of like a, a scrap kind of buckets or like play off other people when he gets to really scoring like his best. And so that's what J.J. does. He gets everybody involved. So Robert can cut lobs, offense, rebound, stuff like that. It makes Rob's job easier and JJ's job easier when they're both on the court together and it makes me and Admon and Tyler's job a lot easier too because they're both just so well-rounded players and fit like how we play. How would you describe your game right now? You're leading the team in scoring. Um, I got it going this early part of the season so it's feeling good feeling confident so we can keep it keep this keep this um keep this train going. You know a couple years ago you guys had a great rivalry with Kentucky Last year, you know, a little bit of a retooling, rebuilding year, if you will, whatever term you want to use. Now it seems like it's back again. Um, how would you assess that rivalry right now that you guys may end up having yet again with Kentucky in the SEC? Competing for an SEC championship and they're favored to win it. Um, so it's nothing new. Um, so, I mean, it's, I think you could look at it as a rivalry because uh, our freshman year, we battled with them tough. Last year, they got the best of us. So, but this year, we gotta we gotta um, put our foot down and show them we're here to compete for the SEC championship. Well, DJ, we appreciate you joining us here on our Skype session on NCAA.com March Madness. Thank you. We'll be tracking you throughout the course of the season. Thank you.